Well, today I decided to do a little tune-up on my uh, <clears throat> club car, electric golf cart. This is my 1981 club car, electric golf cart, 36 volt. And uh, I just pulled it in here and I thought I would uh, fill up the batteries and make sure they're full, give it a good charge, clean the excess battery acid off so it doesn't corrode the frame and so on but uh, I thought I'd show you something I did that might help some of you in the future this is your basic uh, electric golf cart it's got uh, six six volt batteries in series for 36 volts and uh, on these older ones the speed is controlled by relays try to get a shot of that and you'll see that I have five relays wired there and then above the relays are these big resistor coils and basically how it works is those relay relays are energized by a micro switch that's under the uh, floor pan and as you push the pedal down the micro switches engage the different coils on these relays here to uh, bridge out those resistors so if you have it where you're running low speed all of those resistors will be in series with the motor which will cause the golf cart to run slow and then as you push the pedal down more and more of those relays will in energize and bridge out those resistors until you have nothing but the motor and the batteries in series with no resistance and that gives you the highest speed and the system works pretty good I mean I've had this thing for many many years and uh, there is one problem with it especially if you use these golf carts for long long term usage like you're riding around the neighborhood and you ride it several miles or so those relay coils can get very hot even though they're probably designed for continuous duty uh, I found that the relays will go bad after a period of time and uh, I actually opened one up to see if I could tell what was going on I think I discovered what it was anyway I'm going to show you the standard relay that comes in a golf uh, a club car golf cart they look like this and uh, the bottom's riveted on. There's basically a coil inside there, and there's uh, two contacts on the other side of these posts here. And uh, when it's energized, your relay coil, you supply 36 volts across these two uh, studs here, and causes the coil to magnetically pull in a plunger that makes contact with these two studs here and then the current flows through the the two large studs uh, and like I said the problem I found that after riding these golf carts for several miles or so uh, these relays are on continuously which causes them to get kinda hot and uh, I've actually taken one apart and found that what happens is that this plunger gets tight inside here and it doesn't burn the coil out but the coil actually swells a little bit inside there and locks the plunger down inside the the assembly and it prevents it from making contact uh, with the two studs up here and when it does that it causes the uh, golf cart to stop working in some of the speeds or if it's uh, there's one of them here that actually turns on the whole string of the relays, the, the very first one you see there closest uh, to the right hand side there, that, that relay there energizes first to basically enable all of the other relays and if that one burns out uh, you're dead in the water and ask me how I know it's happened a couple times and fortunately I wasn't too far away from home when it happened I was able to push it back home and then figure out what was wrong and so over the years of buying and buying and buying those relays at about fifty dollars a piece um, I found another relay that is a little pricey to purchase but it fixes the problem I've had these on for years and I'm about to show you what I'm using now and you'll see it's this guy right here 
and it's made by Eaton. And see if I can zoom in, you can get the part number. I have to turn it over. It's a normally open relay. It has the two big wings on it here where you could actually attach your wiring to. And uh, uh, the, the relay coil is actually on these two studs here. There's a diode suppressor here that I'm not using on mine, but it, it came with it. Um, but it's a 200 amp. 28 volt, volt coil, which seems to be working fine with the 36 volts, and you might be able to pick up the part number there. I think I've seen these at Newark Electronics and maybe some of the other electronic places online, and they are kind of pricey. They're about $125 a piece, but once you go through and you buy them, uh, you're done because I haven't had any more problem uh, with my speed control since I've done this. So I just thought I'd share that with you and it seems to be working fine. I think I'll give you, see if I can give you another closer shot at how I've got them wired in there. And they actually even, without even drilling any holes or anything, they've actually got the same footprint so they'll bolt right in there where the other ones were at. So it's pretty cool how it, how it worked out. And all I did was, uh, you know, attach the resistors to it and all the wires and Man, this thing really works great. I've had no more problems at all. So, just thought I'd share that with you. And if you'd like to know the part number, or if you couldn't get it on the video, I'll give you the part number to the relay, and uh, you could uh, you could fix yours up the same way. Buy them one at a time as they go bad or whatever. Okay, thanks for watching.